motion of center of mass of an isolated system of particles. We know that there are two kinds of motion, translatory motion and rotatory motion. In a translatory motion, each point on the body undergoes the same displacement in a given time interval. In a rotatory motion, the particles of the object do not move from one point to another, but the object moves about a fixed axis. In few cases, a body may undergo both rotatory motion and translatory motion. This type of motion where a body undergoes both rotational and translatory motion is referred to as general motion. Whenever a body executes general motion, different points of the body undergo different displacement. For example, a wrench moving over a horizontal surface undergoes both translatory and rotational motion. We observe that when a wrench is moving on a horizontal surface, it rotates about a single point called the center of mass. This point moves along a straight line. Center of mass of any symmetric object lies on its axis of symmetry or on any plane of symmetry. Here you can see a cracker moving along a parabolic path. It explodes into fragments during its flight. Notice that each fragment follows its own parabolic path after explosion. But the center of mass of all the fragments continue to be along the same parabolic path. This is because the center of mass of a system of particles of combined mass m moves like that of an equivalent particle of mass m. Here you can see the parabolic path followed by the center of mass of a baseball bat when it is flipped in air.